freaking out. Going from 2,200 to 3,200 meters above the sea level. And uh, it's nice, sunny, partially cloudy. And uh, are you enjoying it already? Yeah, Sweating? Yeah. The GPS was didn't want to find the GPS, so I had to, you know, wait for a bit and then overtake the guys, run a bit. And I can say that the the heart rate goes up faster even on 2,400 as it is now. And we're keeping good pace as well. How do you feel? We just arrived at camp one. Well, some headache and like uh, lightheaded, some flimmering. I can, yeah, as we came straight this morning from zero above sea level, I can feel that uh, we're 3002 now. And I can, yeah, I can feel the height. Mm -hmm. Good dinner? Yeah. Perfect. We were waiting for some warm food. This bread is really nice. It's like Swedish tomb bread, but better. It's more like looking forward to some food. Um, good morning, darling. All right, good morning. Rosbash, 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 Rosbash means good morning. Mm. Morning. And then yeah. we have nice breakfast. They're cooking some kind of uh, omelette, some eggs. Yeah, omelette. Some omelette. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Perfect. Did you sleep good? Uh, yeah. I yeah. actually got too hot, so I had to undress. I was only sleeping in the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I slept pretty good because we were <coughs> really tired from uh, from the previous night when we slept maybe three, four hours and flew into one India. and a half hours. We planned to do a compensation hike, but it's pouring down the whole day. Now it's actually like the window that is raining less, so we are not doing anything. Day two on Arad has passed. Uh, not doing much basically entire day just well, we've been sitting a lot sitting a lot and playing cards and eating the weather was uh, quite rainy the whole whole day but there were some thunder windows thunder well. lightning yeah we wanted to go for a walk but the the guide wasn't very keen on going out in the bad weather so uh, it's a uh, weather forecast for tomorrow is even worse weather so we we'll The plans changed. We're supposed to go today to the camp two, but it started pouring down rain and quite a lot of hail. So we are uh, discussing now what should we do and how we should plan the summit push. And now the plan is either to go up this morning, uh, this evening, or to actually uh, don't do anything today and go up tomorrow and then summit on Tuesday early morning. But of course the weather is so unpredictable here, so it's not guaranteed that we would reach the summit even, even then. <laughs> you feeling good? Yeah. Sweating quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, but it's because it's really warm. It's tropical. I'm trying to ventilate as much as possible. Yeah, the weather is amazing. No wind so far. So let's hope that it stays like this. It's come too. Found a small shelter here, 
the only one that has survived the, the storm. <laughs> yeah, the other one was like rock completely solid. Uh, yeah, it was completely stiff. <laughs> But this one was yeah. It's quite a lot of snow actually. <coughs> it's like at least 10 15 centimeters of snow. So, but uh, weather is so far good. So, we are at 4200 almost. Feeling good. We have been walking uh, now for maybe, I don't know, one hour since I camped too, and uh, it's, in total. it's uh, way more tougher than we actually thought because no one has been walking here for, I don't know, maybe four or five days to the summit and it has been snowing a lot, so sometimes it's the snow up to the, up to the knee, so the person who is basically going first, it's a tough job. Yeah, it's a lot of snow. <laughs> <laughs> 